Supernova remnants are key to understanding galactic evolution, the spread of elements, and the acceleration of cosmic rays that zip through our galaxy. One such remnant, known as HB9, has caught the attention of astronomers. Recently, Chinese scientists have conducted a fascinating investigation into the potential connection between HB9 and a nearby region of ionized atomic hydrogen known as the H2 region. In this video, we will dive deep into the details of this research, explore the science behind supernova remnants, and explain why this discovery is so important for our understanding of the universe. HB9, a supernova remnant located about 2,000 light years away from Earth, is relatively young in cosmic terms, only around 6,600 years old. Despite its youth, this remnant has already made an impact on the surrounding galactic environment. With a shell-type morphology that spans approximately 2 degrees in diameter, HB9 emits bright gamma rays, a feature that intrigues astronomers. But what really sparked curiosity was its proximity to a small, compact H2 region. Its name starts with G159. H2 regions are areas of ionized gas, typically created by young, massive stars that emit intense ultraviolet light. This region appears much brighter and more compact than HB9 and is located about 2 degrees north from the southern edge of the remnant's shell. These two objects seem to be close enough to each other to suggest a possible physical connection. The idea that HB9 and this region might be physically linked is rooted in how stars and their remnants interact with the interstellar medium. Massive stars form within giant molecular clouds, which are often accompanied by H2 regions. When these stars go supernova, they leave behind remnants like HB9, which, in theory, could still be influencing the nearby H2 regions. This would mean that the remnants of a star's explosive death could be directly affecting regions of active star formation. However, establishing a physical connection between a remnant and an H2 region isn't straightforward. It requires careful observation and analysis across multiple wavelengths of light, from radio waves to gamma rays. In the recent study led by astronomers from the Purple Mountain Observatory in Nanjing, China, the researchers employed the McGraw-Hill 1.3M telescope at the Michigan Dartmouth MIT MDM Observatory. Their goal? To determine whether HB9 and the H2 region were truly connected or just an optical illusion caused by their positions in the sky. The team found that while HB9 is indeed bright in gamma rays, its morphology does not clearly align with the surrounding molecular clouds. However, there was a weak connection in gamma rays between HB9 and the infrared bright shell of the region. This suggested that there might be some interaction between the remnant and the H2 region, but a weak one. Further analysis revealed that the multi-wavelength morphology of this region is typical for a galactic H2 region. Its interior emissions, such as the Balmer line and radio emissions, are primarily thermal in origin, while the infrared bright shell is composed of dust heated by ultraviolet photons from young stars. The study also measured the radial velocity of the southeast shell of HB9, finding that it ranged from negative 30 to positive 50 kilometers per second, which could indicate that the supernova remnant's shockwave is heating the gas in the surrounding region. Despite these intriguing findings, the researchers ultimately concluded that HB9 and this H2 region are not physically connected. Their density suggested that the H2 is located at a much greater distance than HB9, meaning the two objects are only close in appearance, not in space. The key to unraveling the mystery lay in the measurements of electron density and radial velocity. Electron density gives astronomers a sense of how much matter is packed into a given volume of space, while radial velocity measures how fast an object is moving toward or away from us. In the case of HB9, the researchers measured a median electron density of about 100 cubic centimeters for the southeast shell of the remnant. By contrast, the H2 region had a lower median density of around 50 cubic centimeters. This difference in density led the researchers to conclude that this region is likely located much farther away from HB9 than previously thought. 
This underscores the challenges of studying the vast, three-dimensional structure of the universe. When we look up at the night sky, we see objects projected onto a two-dimensional plane. Two stars, nebulae, or supernova remnants might appear to be close to each other, but they could be separated by thousands of light years in reality. Establishing physical connections between celestial objects requires precise measurements of distance, velocity, and composition. In this case, the measurements showed that while HB9 and G159 might be spatially close, they're not actually connected. Despite this conclusion, the study provides valuable insights into the behavior of supernova remnants and H2 regions. For example, the fact that HB9 is bright in gamma rays suggests that it is still an active remnant, with shock waves from the original explosion continuing to influence the surrounding space. This means that even though HB9 and G159 aren't interacting, HB9 is still playing a role in shaping its environment. These kinds of discoveries help astronomers piece together the puzzle of how galaxies evolve over time. These remnants disperse heavy elements throughout the galaxy, providing the raw materials for future generations of stars. They also accelerate cosmic rays, which are high-energy particles that can have profound effects on the interstellar medium. Let's take a look at some other unique supernova remnants that have captured the attention of astronomers. One such remnant is SN1006, the remnant of a supernova that exploded in the year 1006. This remnant is particularly interesting because it has provided astronomers with new insights into the behavior of magnetic fields around supernova remnants. Recent X-ray observations revealed that the magnetic fields within its remnant shell are disorganized but have a preferred orientation. As the shock wave from the explosion moves through the surrounding gas, the magnetic fields become aligned with the shock wave's motion, trapping charged particles and accelerating them to high speeds. These high energy particles, in turn, transfer energy back into the magnetic fields, creating a complex interplay between the explosion's debris and the surrounding environment. Another recent discovery is the Nereides Nebula, a newly identified supernova remnant with delicate gaseous filaments and immense size. This remnant, discovered after more than 1,000 hours of exposure from observing sites around the world, offers a stunning example of the intricate structures left behind by exploding stars. What makes the Nereides Nebula particularly fascinating is the level of detail captured in its filamentary structure, which provides clues about the dynamics of the explosion and the subsequent interactions between the remnant and the interstellar medium. These unique supernova remnants, each with their own distinctive features, demonstrate the diversity of stellar explosions and their lasting impact on the universe. Thank you for watching. If you found this fascinating, don't forget to like and subscribe for more cosmic discoveries and updates. Stay curious, and I'll see you in the next one.